Welcome to Out of the Comfort Zone. So I want to talk about today, how do you find the courage and the strategy to persuade people, particularly people in positions of power, to do something different? Now, so many people that I talk to have great ideas and they cannot get people to listen to the ideas, let alone consider them seriously or even worse, adopt them. And I'm also going to say an awful lot of people that I talk to give up too quickly on the ideas. They fail to understand what the process of change really is about when you're trying to sell a new approach, a change in thinking, and how to stick with the message to see it through to success. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to take a real example of a major change, and we want to talk about the story of that change. How did it happen? And I want to use that to both inspire you that it is possible, that you may need to stick with it longer than you think, and to get some principles about what's really going to work. So now my guest today is Dr. Amy Rothenberg. She is has practiced as a licensed naturopathic meth medicine professional since 1986 and is the American Association of Naturopathic Physicians since and 2017 Physician of the Year. She's a longtime medical editor of the Institute for Natural Pat Medicine, and she was diagnosed with cancer in 2014 and sought out, you know, a renowned teaching hospital for traditional treatment and then worked with her providers to, with great expertise in integrative and natural medicine oncology to kind of create her medical dream team and help her recover. So her book, I am super a fan of, um, if you are dealing with cancer or have anybody in your life who's dealing with cancer, the title is You Finished Treatment, Now What? And the question of, of the book is really, how do you heal your body from this treatment that you have just been through. And I just took the book and summarized it in one sentence, which is probably unfair. Now, lest you think that this is an announcement about cancer or a show about well-being, it's not. We're not really going to talk about the book, though I highly recommend it. What we're going to talk about is change. How do you convince people to get change? So Amy, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. It is a pleasure. Um, I'm super excited. I really do love the book. Seriously, anybody who's facing cancer, I think needs this one as a reference. 